Whoa, Squidward, you're joking! Hello, everyone. There is a Children of the Corn remake in theaters. We are going to talk about it. I am obligated to talk about it. I wasted $8.50 on this movie, so guess what? Here we go. The film describes the events leading up to and including the massacre of the adults of a small town in Nebraska by their children after the adults' irresponsibility ruins the crop and the children's future. This movie is directed by Kurt Wimmer, obviously is rated R for all of the things that you normally get in a horror movie like this, just not as good as maybe what you normally get, and stars the likes of Alina Camporis, Kate Moyer, who plays Eden, probably the best child actor or young actor slash actress of the bunch, and Callan Mulvey is probably the most seasoned actor of the group, and you can tell when he's on screen he's delivering uh, dialogue. It's a lot better than whoever else is in the scene. It, it doesn't matter, it's whoever. And I got this question a lot on my Winnie the Pooh review. They said, Austin, did you really expect this movie to be good? No, no. No, but I did, I went in willing to give it a chance. I said, there is a possibility that this movie surprises me. This microphone is too far. Because I didn't really see any of the grades prior. I didn't see what it was on Rotten Tomatoes and even audience members being extremely harsh on this movie. And most of the time, if the general audience score is a lot higher than the critic score, I'm like, oh, okay, but that wasn't the case because everyone seems to not like this movie. So what is it about Children of the Corn that makes it so bad but that it's bad. It's it's not really so bad that it's good. Although I was laughing at this movie a lot more than Winnie the Pooh because Winnie the Pooh was just kind of a miserable horror experience. It was lazy. A couple of good kills, some nice practical effects. This movie, the dialogue is what got me. The lines, the delivery, the acting. And I think a lot of it spawns from the direction. I'm not going to sit here and say these are the worst actors I've ever seen. Although it did kind of feel that way while watching this movie, but I have a feeling that comes from the direction because it didn't really feel like they knew the type of line that they were delivering or the emotion that they had to convey while delivering it. Does that make sense? The back and forth at the beginning between numerous characters, whether it be brother and sister or uh, daughter and father, with these cruddy grades, I'll be stuck in this town forever, but you go off and you leave us, and I'm just sitting back going, oh, uh, are you effing crazy? Dumbass idiots. That's a line from the movie. Just saying. But he actually said effing, because I guess they wanted to keep this PG-13. Oh no, the movie's rated R. But he said effing. Like E-F-F-I-N-G. Like <laughs> Also, I have a feeling this movie was stuck in development hell, because it says 2020 on IMDb, it says 2020 on Letterboxd, yet it's 2023. Uh, I haven't looked into the backstory there. I'm sure there is one. I, Frank, I don't want to. I just don't want to look into this movie any more than I already have, and I don't want to give it the time nor effort. I've given it over $8. That's enough. Hello, I like money. You know when you're watching a horror movie and there's an interesting idea here, right? I can see how it is a Stephen King property. I can see how people really enjoy the original Children of the Core, and don't ask me... Core? Children of the Core? <laughs> don't ask me anything about the original because, frankly, I don't remember it. I know I watched it at some point, because my grandmother was a massive horror fan. She had every 70s, 80s, 90s horror movie you could imagine. I know she had this, I know we watched it, but I don't remember anything about it. Although, while watching this, I kind of got shades in my memory of what this film was all about. And the premise is simple, right? You have all of these kids in this town, they are revolting against the parents. They are mad at the adults. And frankly, I think there's something going on with the adults, too, because they are taking all of these crops and they're saying, nope, nope, it's time to be done with them. And then you have all of the kids who are kind of working for this spirit slash creature that is guiding them and kind of pushing them in the direction to uh, essentially go on a rampage. And this young 12-year-old who is kind of the leader, she's recruiting all of these kids to go out, kill the corrupt adults, anyone who opposes her. And again, I think this young actress plays a good leader, but the kids around her, some of the younger, and I'm sure they're really good people in real life, but I, I think the acting and performances here really hinder uh, what could have been with some of these scenes. But again, you're looking at that overarching plot. Kind of cool. Kind of interesting. It's just the way these kids are acting. It's supposed to be creepy. It's supposed to make you feel uncomfortable but it makes you feel uncomfortable for all of the wrong reasons. I'm feeling uncomfortable watching this because this is not a good showcase of acting. Some of the dialogue here is 
absolutely atrocious. The town hall meeting where all of the adults are talking and someone goes up and gives a big speech and then the daughter comes in, she gives a speech and then the little kids are sitting in the back like this all cool and stuff and they got the one kid's chewing on a piece of a wheat, a piece of wheat. The adults start maniacally laughing at a point and yelling and making fun of the kids and I'm like, that. I get it, you're trying to make it feel weird, creepy, and establish an atmosphere that should be present all throughout this movie. But what in the world was that dialogue and the obnoxiousness of some of the lines that uh, do not work for what they are trying to do? The jump scares all throughout the movie. You can, to the second, you can tell when they're going to pop up because something will get really quiet. Characters will kind of stop what they're doing. They'll be walking and you immediately know, yeah, we're going to get a very cheap jump scare that's not going to be a demon or a creature. It's going to be somebody coming around a corner and go. The movie also throws us into a situation, doesn't establish any of the characters, doesn't allow us to care about anyone. This young girl is the only one that really gets anything in the opening scene. By the way, the soundtrack and the score, whatever it was, the music in the opening scene was terrible. It did not match what we were seeing on screen. And the jump scare, the sound effects, it's just, you got off to the worst start possible. So from that point, you had to recover. And unfortunately, the movie was unable to recover. Some of these performances, it's just hard to watch because the lines were so bad. Some of the worst writing I've seen in years. And I think the idea of what they're trying to convey here and have this town go up against each other and kind of working for something, an entity of sorts that you don't really see all throughout the movie, and that was kind of capturing my attention. I'm like, all right, I like the fact that you'll see a hand every now and then, or you'll see a body part, and, uh, you know, maybe some of those were even practical effects, and that's something that I can appreciate. So, okay, you're working with that lower budget here. Let's see how you handle that and execute at the end. Oh, you're just going to show the whole creature and you can't afford CGI. <laughs> what, what, what was that decision? Why was that decision made? You could have somewhat salvaged this experience. I don't even want to say salvage. You could have made it slightly better. Not a miserable time in the theater, slightly less so, by not showing us the creature at the end and having the most cliche third act possible. But that's the decision? That's how you recover from the atrocities committed on screen in the first act? I think I'm being too harsh, but not really. I don't have much left to say. I'm, I'm probably taking too much of your time. So before I give you my score, if you like this review, I promise I'm not always this negative and you want to drop a like, that'd be great. Uh, if you want to leave a comment, that'd be great. What Children of the Corn movie should I watch? Or which one shouldn't I watch? It's this one. Children of the Corn is a poor attempt at a remake featuring terrible dialogue, questionable performances, and a head-scratching decision to reveal the evil force at the end. I'm going at 12% with my score. Yeah, this is uh, not worth your time. I always say give the movie a chance. Go see it if you want to. It, give the movie a chance. Go see it if you want to. 